Hey guys, for Medical Monday, I wanna issue a question to really think through. Do we allow ourselves to think like victims when we identify ourselves as a disease? So far, we've talked about high blood pressure and high cholesterol, and both of these are highly correlated to lifestyle and our habits. There are, of course, outliers with hereditary factors, but even those individuals benefit from healthy diet and changes in exercise. Here's the thing, most people with these diseases don't talk much about it. Now, let's think of a person with a disease that diet and lifestyle doesn't cause. Now, admittedly, diet and lifestyle impacts every area of life, but there are some autoimmune diseases and many diseases that we can be born with that really aren't our fault. Have you noticed how much we talk about these? There's this huge sense of responsibility and shame that keeps us quiet about some issues, and that's sad but true. What I want us to think about right now, however, is how easy it is to embrace a diagnosis when it helps us absolve ourselves of responsibility or explain how we've been feeling, but we maybe thought we were just crazy. On the side of lifestyle-related disease, I want to help us take responsibility because that gives us the chance to change. On the other hand, these complex diseases that often require advanced treatment by specialists and have varied expressions and multiple symptoms that have varied expressions and multiple symptoms also have a huge gravitational pull. These diseases tempt us to fall into a victim mentality. Lifestyle disease we shame ourselves into silence. Those diseases beyond any ability to blame ourselves, we can easily use as an excuse. My role here is to challenge you to rise above a subpar life. I meet people every day who are interested in a secret answer or a new treatment, and they often highly identify themselves with their disease. The disease can become who they are instead of something they have. You may have a disease, and you may or may not have some responsibility in that, but you are not defined by it in my eyes, and I won't let you use it as an excuse to ignore growth opportunities. I have too many patients that are defined by overcoming. Every survivor of cancer or tragic injury or another life-threatening condition had an opportunity to give up, but they didn't, and their victory made the disease part of their story without stealing their identity. They are overcomers. I see too many people shortchange themselves and drastically limit their lives due to their thoughts rather than their health. I don't want to enable that. Look, our clinic is close to completion in North Hall. I'm stopping Medical Monday to focus on those who allow us to be part of their story. We will listen. We will guide. We will provide growth opportunities, but we won't allow you to define yourself as a victim when there are so many victories to be had. I'll be around, but patience are my focus. And to be honest, you guys have been amazing. We're busy, and I don't want to shortchange you. Thank you all from Northall Family Medicine.